Powerade gets the possession back. Makapagal locks up. It's been a frustrating first quarter so far for Mark Makapagal. We're going to see a lot of players play in this game. Both coaches are going to go to their benches because the way they're playing this game is up and down. Players are going to get tired by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Meyerhofer looking for his second three of the night. Daddy David exploring his options. It's in the hands of Dennis Espino. And it stays power eight ball. And like you said, you need them. Coach Paul Perezol digging into his bench here. Three-man substitution. Romela Duco also coming back into the or coming into this ball game for the first time. Reyes out to Antonio and now Daddy David. Reyes gets open. Yes, that shot will count. It is a long two. Well, Jai Reyes shows tremendous poise under pressure in connecting with that shot. Villanueva off the spin move. No rebound by Gary David. And Power Wade is really trying to keep the tempo up here. I think both these teams are playing up and down basketball. Is Gary David. Look at the way he's spooning in. And he's a man possessed right now. He wants to score. He already has 10 points. He's eclipsed his output of the last game of 9 points. Might be safe to say that that last game was a fluke. <laughs> he is the Leeds, the Leeds leading scorer. Villanueva against the double team inside. In the battle for the loose ball, b gets another opportunity here. Roger Yap. And look at Jai Reyes. Getting the rebound, the smallest man on the floor. And probably the lightest. He must weigh about, what, 140 pounds? Maybe? About 40, about 50 maybe. Yeah. The drive challenged by Adupo. So RJ Rezada, his first two points of the ball game. And that brings Power Rates lead up to seven in the BMAC Derby Ace Yamada's call for another timeout. PBA Friday continues from the Araneta Coliseum over to Cheska Litton who's standing by. For Forbes, George Gallant, BMAC just needs to stop Power Rates transition offense, especially Gary David. And Kanito mentioned this earlier that BMAC likes to slow things down and take advantage of their size. And Coach George agrees with that. He says that they need to control the boards so Power Rates cannot run. They also need to shut down the shooters, exactly like what Alaska did. And as for the man of the moment, PJ Simon, Coach George is hoping that he can sustain it. They've had back-to-back -back games, and they just had light practice yesterday. And they are also another man down. Don Aliado is suited up, but he is not playing due to a groin, uh, due to a groin injury uh, in their game against Air 21. Vito and Kinito. Thanks for the report, Jessica. So a thin lineup here at the Araneta Coliseum for the BMEC Derby East. Yamado is trying to hold their own here, down by four. Jerwin Gako is in the ball game now. Slips through the fingers, a little too hot for Jerwin Gako. It's back to the Power Raid Tigers. And Jerwin Gako, you see it on your screens. He actually is number two in the league in field goal percentage. That's correct. Close to 62% shooting. What about his shot selection? Dennis Espino, unable to create anything there. There's the drop pass. And Rizada credited with the assist there, as we see from our angle. KG Canaletta being prepared to come in this ball game for the first time. Well, Vito, very obvious in that play that Coach Bob Parasol is looking at other options. He's not sticking exclusively to Gary David. Mm -hmm. They're also looking to Dennis Espino, which is the right thing to do. They need to be able to establish his presence underneath. The kick out pass. Short jumper by Rizada is no good, and B-Meg is once again on the run. Two defenders waiting for James Yap. Gako stops and pops it short. Oh, 
Powerade right, deciding to slow things down here, trying to use their half-court setup. A little more than a minute to go in the first quarter. Powerade with a six-point lead, led by as many as seven. And Dennis Espino extends the lead. Under a minute in the first. Look at the way RJ Rizada is sticking so close to James Yap. And Gary David reading the pass. He's going all the way. The runway is clear and that's an easy two. So Gary David. Now that's the way to come back. 12 points for Gary David. You know, the big story here in this first quarter is Powerade's defense. Not so much its offense. I mean, they've scored 24 points, but holding BMEG down to just 14 points. And the way they're playing defense, particularly on James Yap, making it so difficult for him to even think basket. James Yap so far held to just two points. Jonas Villanueva bringing the aggression level up a notch, taking it to the basket. He's been rewarded with two free throws. And let's take a look now at our Explode Energy Drink Animal Salakas play of the quarter. And it stars Gary David. One man army on that play single handedly de dismantling the defense. But the BMAC Derby East Yamada towards the end of the first quarter starting to fight back. Lead is back to eight. And Vito, 10 players are now checked in for uh, power raid. So a lot of players being shuffled in and out of the court by Coach Bob Parasol to keep this pace at a frenetic rate. That's, that's, a nice, that's a nice fake by Jairus. 5'7 and 140 pounds. I have it now. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to make sure. We wanted to be accurate. So the first quarter is over and the Power Raid Tigers playing like a team on a mission, erecting a 10-point lead, 26 to 16, controlling this game so far. Chapter 2 is up next. We are back at the Adeneta Coliseum, just moments away from our second quarter of action on this PBA Friday. It's the BMAC Derby East Yamadas picking on the Power Raid Tigers. First and only meeting in the elimination round. Vita Lazatin here along with the Dean Kenita Henson for Solar TV. Let's take a look at Gary David. Not just the highlights, but the numbers. He's been impressive. We talked about it in the first quarter. How is he going to bounce back from that nine-point performance? Well, he's already done it here in the first. Already with 12 points, two rebounds, and his performance on the floor is five out of six. And that includes two converted three-pointers. <laughs> So he's doing it inside, he's doing it outside. And he's deserved the rest. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's earned that he, rest. He certainly has. He played a no-relief job in the first quarter. Dimitri Dodiès Yamadas now trying to make their mark here in the second quarter. James Yap off with the jumper. And Jai Reyes with another rebound. Is this guy for real? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Espino goes for the jumper, nothing there. Villanueva for three. Yes. Jonas Villanueva, three! So Jonas Villanueva now with eight in the ball game. Ritualo flashing out back to Jai Reyes. Antonio matching up against Jaco. Antonio deep in enemy territory and there is a foul. Looks like it's going to be on James Yap. So that's the first personal against James Yap. Will Antonio, averaging eight points per ball game, seven rebounds per game. And don't forget, this Sunday, our very own Manny Pacquiao is taking on his biggest and heaviest opponent yet, Ben Tu. Fully enjoy the experience. Why don't you see it in the biggest viewing event in the country right here at the Araneta Coliseum. For tickets, you can call 911-5555. That's Pacquiao versus Margarito this Sunday. 
Russian now there's, there's bad blood now between these two camps, Kiao and Margarito camps. And video circulated showing uh, Margarito and his uh, sparmate Brandon Rios uh, mimicking Freddy Roach's, uh, you know, his movements with the hands and the way he's, the way he, uh, the way his head twitches because of his Parkinson's disease. Oh, wow. Certainly not in good taste. Again, that defensive power rate forcing b -Mac to take a very poor shot from, what was that, about 35 feet. Rizada, clear for three. Oh, that's a long two. I'm cor I stand corrected. And RJ Rizada, one of the uh, stars from Dabao City playing here in the PBA. His, his sister um, was a former Mutianan Dabao. Vizada with the steal. And Vizada wisely opting to wait for reinforcements. Less than 10 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Power Ray currently enjoying its biggest lead of the ball game. And they'll try to build on it here. Antonio moves in. Beating the challenge of Jordan Salvador. Villanueva trying to snake his way in. Salvador steps back and in, rolls in. Right now, Jonas Villanueva is actually making the plays for uh, for B-Meg. And he's having an easy time doing it against dry rails, who's much smaller. So he's creating, and he made that shot possible for John Dan Salvador. Espino backing down here on Salvador. But Espino having trouble holding on to the ball. Offensive rebound by Will Antonio. Reyes for three. No. And things getting a little physical down there between RJ Rizada and James Yap, and Rizada will be called with a foul. That's been the matchup. RJ Rizada playing tough defense on James Yap, trying to frustrate him out of his game. As coach George Gallant. And he too has a very interesting story. He once played for FEU, the same school that produced Jonas Villanueva. James Yap is. Back on the bench as P.J. Simone and Rico Meyerhofer back in for B-Meg Derby Ace. In comes Simone and Simone. That ball tapped out about seven seconds left on the shot clock here for B-Meg Derby Ace. First appearance in the ball game now for Ricky Kalima of the Power Raid Tigers. Villanueva, not a lot of time to operate here. The three, no. On the other end, Ritualo over to Rizada. Espino at the high post, covered by Jordan Salvador, and that drop. Easy to read by the B-Mac Derby Ace Yamado. They've got the possession back here. Villanueva from the crossover, the pass to Salvador. Salvador drops it inside. Meyerhofer. Selfish basketball by Meenbeck. But it took a lot of touches before they got that ball close to the basket. And again, Jonas Villanueva is making things happen here for uh, B-Meg. Jai Rez is now sitting down. Chico, Chico Lanete is in there to play defense against Jonas. So Coach Boparasol realizing that there was a little bit of a mismatch there. The disadvantage goes to Jai Rez. That's why he's sitting down in that matchup against Jonas. B-Meg is trying to eat into the seven-point lead. Salvador down low. Espino with the block. And there's the steal, Rico Meyerhofer, he will go all the way with this one. Nice two-handed jam by Meyerhofer with a flourish. His legs go up. Well, just what the doctor ordered for the B-Mac Derby, Ace Yamadas as they try to claw their way back into this one. Lanete. Beautiful baseline drive for Chico Lenete, his fourth in the ball game. Nobody providing providing help defense underneath. Six minutes and 42 now, still now remaining in the second quarter. And Powerade. Still with a seven-point advantage. 